let's finish up with Godot. Alright, so welcome to the last episode right here in the, well, I run into a wall with Godot basically series. And overall, I must say, I think that adapting from Unity to Godot is definitely possible. There's a couple of caveats that I do think are worth mentioning. Number one, I really, really think that for my Unity folks, do not underestimate Godot script. I really think that it makes a lot of sense to try and familiarize yourself with that because really it seems very straightforward. And to be honest, if you know programming, then you know, jumping to a new language really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Most of these things are, I mean, fairly straightforward, let's be honest. I still haven't fully understood the node structure, I will admit that. I still have to sort of get into the idea that this is like a node tree, like a hierarchy thing, and that it works just the tiniest bit different from Unity. The fact that it's so similar, yet there is just this twist that it's a little bit different, I think that that messes with me right now for just a little bit. But the thing I find absolutely freaking fantastic is the signals and how easy it is to just put in any type of signal right here and just easily connect it. Like literally just being like, hey, just add this to the character. Bam, I got this. I can then say, print me out. Hello. Saving it, going in here all of a sudden, I get a hello every time the mouse like hovers over the player. That's pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. That is a very, very cool thing that it works like incredibly quickly. The signal system, absolutely freaking, I mean, amazing. I, I absolutely love this. So overall, for any Unity dev, I really think that going into Godot is not actually as bad as one might think. In the whole scope of things, these were like my first two to three hours or so just playing around, goofing around, basically running into a wall. So from a meta perspective of this series, right, the Unity Dev tries or looks at the first time, I would really like if there are any people interested in the ongoing series for more engines and stuff like that, please feel free to leave me any type of criticism feedback in the comments below. I am more than happy to take a look at that. The way that I'm thinking about setting this up in the future is basically the the first video of an engine is always going to be the absolute first impressions. Like, I haven't looked at anything. I'm just running into a wall, trying anything out and seeing if that, you know, if that gets me anywhere. The second video would then be me looking up a few things, basic, maybe in between the episodes, you know, going through a little bit of documentation and making sure that I have something to basically show, being like, okay, this is a little bit how this works. And in the third video, reading and incorporating some comments from the first two videos. So I would expect probably a few people from the engines looking at the first two videos and then basically leaving me hopefully constructive criticism and their impressions which I can then incorporate into the third video and then if needed any additional considerations and final thoughts for a fourth video that would be sort of the way that I would like to lay this out for the time being and basically then look at one engine each week. I'm highly attuned to the comments down below I'm trying to you know get to all of them but I try to read all of the comments that you leave me. Also I will be making sure in the next engine that I'm going to delineate this clearly that this is not a tutorial series in the traditional sense this is really a I don't even know. I first look at series. It's definitely a little bit of an experimental type of content. As long as you think it's entertaining, interesting, and educational to watch, then I will be continuing with them and going through all of the other engines. It's it's going to be a wild ride, but we'll see where we'll end up. I don't want to give a rating for Godot, but I'll just put a Count seal of approval on Godot over here for the time being. I think after going through one or two tutorials by someone who has who knows the engine, who knows their stuff, I think that you're going to be up and running in no time. That will be my final thoughts. And we're going to continue next time with this engine. I don't know quite which one it is. But once it's out, it should pop up a new video right here. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.